Hi guys! Ang gagawin nating video ngayon is Blackpink inspired makeup. Ang next nating gagawin video is gamitin yung mga products na na makeup haul natin. Our makeup inspiration is Blackpink's Kill This Love Music video. And ang look ni Jenny ang gagayahin natin. I don't know if kaya ba natin gawin but we'll try our best so stay tuned! So start with a clean face. Apply some moisturizer and choose a moisturizer that is appropriate for your skin type and apply it on your face. So next na tinga gamitin is itong No Shine Mattifier from Quick Fix. Face primer is necessary to help you achieve that smooth airbrushed finish by filling in your pores. Next is magfa foundation lang tayo. Of course, you must choose a foundation color that matches your skin tone and decide how much coverage you want. I'm using a cream foundation from TLM. Although it looks lighter than my skin tone, there's no need to worry about because it's a self-adjusting foundation, which means after it blends with my skin, it matches with my natural skin color later on. So if you are not sure what's your right shade, you can never go wrong with this foundation. And as you can see, after a while, my foundation color has already adjusted to my skin tone. Next is apply a setting powder. Lightly tap or blow the excess powder off, then brush it onto your face. Focus on the nose, forehead, and cheekbones. And the powder will help set the foundation and reduce the shine. Next. Let's apply or fill in our brows and just apply our favorite or your favorite eyebrow pencil. And of course, don't forget to brush your brows using a spoolie to avoid harsh lines and edges. From our BYS face palette, choose a light brown eyeshadow and simply tap it off on our eyebrow just to give it that light eyebrow effect. To give a better definition of our brows, lightly apply a concealer on the lower part of our brows using a brush to better define its shape. For the eyeshadow na part, start with a base and of course, I'm just using the lightest shade of eyeshadow from the same palette and use it as base for the colored eyeshadow later. So, for my eyelid color, I'm using the pinkish orangey shade and I just sweep it along to the inner and outer corner of my eyelids. Using a small fluffy brush, go over the eyelid, then define the shape concentration on the inner and outer lid. And remember that our makeup inspiration highlights most of the eye makeup. So, of course, take your time. I also used an angled brush to better define the winged eyeshadow shape. While doing this, connect the upper and lower eyeshadow starting from your eyelids to the outer lower lash line using the same angled brush. Supposedly, we have to apply eyeliners but in my case, I don't usually use eyeliners. So, in here, I use an eyebrow pen first as draft for the liquid eyeliner later. Of course, you can extend the eyeliner a little bit beyond the outer corner, creating a wing tip. Whether you use eyeliner pencil or liquid eyeliner depends entirely on what is easiest for you to work with. So, using the same pencil, draw your lower lash line. 
then tap it off with a light yellow eyeshadow and for the fun part of course i'm using a cream glitter eyeshadow on my lids because you know you can never go wrong with the glitter eyeshadow for a korean makeup and then i prefer to apply the nose contour first before curling my eyelashes so i'm using here a contour stick to create our nose line then Using a brush, blend your nose line to your desired shape. And let's simply connect our nose line to the base of our eyebrows for a soft transition. Back with our eyes, I'm now using a liquid eyeliner following the draft we have made earlier. So for a beginner like me, drafting your eyeliner first is very helpful so that our eye makeup is not messed up let's curl our eyelashes then apply the mascara I did apply my mascara but I wasn't able to show it here in the video so leave it there Anyway, apply a highlighter on the nose tip and on the nose bridge and including also the inner corners of our eyes. Next step is apply blush on. Choose a color that suits you and apply it on top of your cheekbones and lightly connect the blush to your contour. How you apply your blush will depend on the type of blush you have. Mine is a powder type so I just apply it with a powder brush. So for our lips, I applied a nude lipstick directly over my lips. I tap it off with a pink liquid lipstick only on the inner corner of the lips because we wanted to achieve a gradient lip effect. Once you're finished applying your lipstick, you can get rid of the excess by pressing your lips down on a folded tissue or wet wipes. And lastly, before we forget, I think the most defining feature of this makeup is the vertical white metallic color across Jenny's eyes. So I just use a cream eyeshadow here, drawing a thin line vertically and tap it off with a glittery white eyeshadow. Then finishing touches with our lips and I think we're done. Hopefully guys you like this video and if you do please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in my next one.